Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God, this is your daily devotional reading. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen White, November 4th, as for hidden treasure. His word our lamp, his truth our guide, we cannot be mistaken. Though dangers rise on every side, we shall not be forsaken. Then trim your lamps, my brethren dear, then trim your lamps with godly fear. The Master's coming draweth near, let every lamp be burning. As for hidden treasure, they received the word with all readiness of mind, and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. Acts chapter 17, verse 11. My husband, Elder Joseph Bates, Father Pierce, Elder Edson, a man who was keen, noble, and true, and many others whose names I cannot now recall, were among those who, after the passing of the time in 1844, searched for truth. At our important meetings, these men would meet together and search for the truth as for hidden treasures. I met with them, and we studied and prayed earnestly, for we felt that we must learn God's truth. Often we remained together until late at night, and sometimes through the entire night, praying for light and studying the word. As we fasted and prayed, great power came upon us, but I could not understand the reasoning of the brethren. My mind was locked, as it were, and I could not comprehend what we were studying. Then the Spirit of God would come upon me. I would be taken off in vision, and a clear explanation of the passages we had been studying would be given me, with instruction as to the position we were to take regarding truth and duty. A line of truth extending from that time to the time when we shall enter the city of God was plainly marked out before me, and I gave my brethren and sisters the instruction that the Lord had given me. They knew that when not in vision, I could not understand these matters, and they accepted as light, direct from heaven, the revelations given me. The leading points of our faith as we hold them today were firmly established. Point after point was clearly defined, and all the brethren came into harmony. The whole company of believers were united in the truth. There were those who came in with strange doctrines, but we were never afraid to meet them. Our experience was wonderfully established by the revelation of the Holy Spirit. It was some time after my second son was born that we were in great perplexity regarding certain points of doctrine. I was asking the Lord to unlock my mind that I might understand His Word. Suddenly, I seemed to be enshrouded in clear, beautiful light, and ever since, the Scriptures have been an open book to me. This Day with God, November 4th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.